we could easily come in here and you know been fit, like, really nervous and you know took the whole thing you know blew it up a bit but I think the main thing about the squad is we, we spoke before we came over on Sunday and, and the main thing was just to be calm and, and enjoy every minute of it. Um, it'll probably be some of our only chances to, to reach a major tournament so I think the key is to just make sure that we take in every minute and you know we do ourselves proud. We have to go out and play the way we've been taught the last three years and that's just to play with calmness and, and go and enjoy it and express ourselves so I assume we'll enjoy it, we'll, we'll do our best and um, hopefully we can create some upsets. Obviously when the injury happened six weeks ago it was a tough one to take but the whole focus was always to, to, to be fit and ready to go here and you know all credit to our medical staff that have worked so hard to make sure that that's happened and um, yeah I have really good support around me that's, that's helped me both physically and mentally. Um, you know this is the pinnacle of, of a lot of our careers and to be here with the team just means everything so I'm just delighted and relieved that I've, I've made it. I mean, we're here because of him, and if you asked any player in the squad, they'll tell you the same thing. Um, he came in three years ago and basically instilled this immense belief in us, and he gave us a license to go play. And with that, you gain confidence as a player, and as a team, we we started to go out and, you know, we wanted to go out and win games, and he gave us that just that sheer belief that we could do it, and, and we did. Um, we won 10 games in a row at one point, and we just went on this great kind of um, yeah, positive ride of, of good results. And yeah, he's, he's a fantastic man. Um, I'm so thankful for him, for what he's done for, for me personally. Um, I feel like I'm a better person as well as a player from his come in, and, and I know the squad is, is definitely feeling the same way. God, I can't imagine. But when I was a kid, I couldn't imagine being on this stage. But I actually remember, um, I always watched football and you dreamt of one day playing in the stadium full of fans and it was just something, we always had this feeling just watching the, watching the matches and um, looking back to, to who I was back then. I was a kid that, I suppose in my teenage years, I I didn't really have much confidence. I used to, I actually used to take um, these really bad retinas so it actually made me come into, go into myself a lot um, and it got, pretty quiet and reserved for a few years but I probably tell myself that you know it's going to be okay um, and yeah just take yourself out of your comfort zone and, and not worry as a person um, and I think that's probably personally the best thing I've ever done in my, in my life is just take myself out of comfort zone and, and grow as a person. I don't know where I'd be without football in every aspect it's what I've always done since I was a little kid and for me now the big thing for me is to try and inspire these young girls to believe that anything's possible and you know I'll do everything I can as, as a person and a player and hopefully a coach when I'm older to, to help young girls um, achieve that.